Hi friend, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra and we have just uh, announced pre-release of Conceptual Pediatrics and uh, if I have to use a word, the word is amazing. Conceptual Pediatrics uh, will be launched on our Independence Day, 15th August and 2025 and just like in the speech, the tryst with destiny, right, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 15th August 1947 spoke that when the world sleeps, the India awakens. And this is what we have been always referring to international books, international forums in every branch in medical science in India. But the dream is very simple. The dream is very simple, but the dream is huge. Why not in branches of conceptual, the world looks up to India. If you go to every premier institute in the world, Indians are there. And if you are from Molana Azad Medical College, we always have this uh, line. You will always find a Molanian anywhere you go. Why not tomorrow, somebody sitting in USA, talking to his co-consultant, both of US origin, refer to a topic in pediatrics, and on their phones, they log on to conceptual pediatrics. That's exactly the dream. But you know, dreams without action die slow death. That's why it's the time for action. When ever you want to do something good, get correct education. If you want to do something better, get a wonderful skill which is ahead of its time. But if you wish to do great, there's only one way in the world and that's build the right kind of team and be a part of that team. Go towards the mission together. It's like a chariot run by horses and all the horses running in the same direction. Conceptual pediatrics is absolutely that chariot with the horses running in the same direction. It's a conglomerate of a beautiful structure of teachers who have immense experience of four to five decades. Yes, you got it correct. Four to five decades. They have worshipped clinical science. They have worshipped Saraswati Ma together. And now they are there to share their knowledge. The feature that's going to touch and melt your heart is, for example, in this video, which you will shortly see, is how they will be showing you small, small swellings. Small things are always big in clinical science. And that's what conceptual pediatrics aims at. Will we have the notes? Obviously, yes. Will we have the books? Obviously, yes. Will we have the question bank and the MCQ discussions? Obviously, yes. But what will we have which you will not find anywhere? Because this is the line which I wrote for one of my friend's book. Whatever you will find anywhere else, you will find it here. But what you will find here, you will not find anywhere else. This is what you should remember. And it will have the art and science behind clinical art. It will tell you that if you master this art, you are in addiction to more and more of it. Clinical science is something which you all took this branch for. And we will make sure that just one exam, placing you into different colleges in the country, does not take away you're right for the best education. Conceptual pediatrics aims as a level playing field so that all the residents of pediatrics in the country and abroad are not denied their fundamental right, the right for the best education. For example, case discussions, the teachers who have mastered the art will be doing it routinely with you. You will be sitting at the comfort of your room there will be a presenter who will be discussing and um, presenting a case and there will be a learned senior examiner who will be shooting questions and also telling you what is a model answer. With me in this frame, right, is a legend himself, a senior teacher, humble to the core, but most important, the criteria for any conceptual branch, a wonderful human being, because that is the rarest in this world. Professor. N.B. Mathur sir. We have learned pediatrics from him. We have seen him perform clinical tests. 
we have seen him doing the diagnosis and we have seen him educating thousands and thousands of us having his 5 minutes has always been precious but he is devoted to the cause finding out time to give you nothing less than the best before this short video i was listening to his wonderful thought there are lots of ideas but they have to be condensed and presented correctly this is what a teacher does a teacher's aim is not to give you knowledge a teacher's aim is to simplify it so that you retain it and you are able to apply it sir welcome to this talk thank you thank you dr apurva just two words sir in two lines in fact if somebody is presenting to you a case in an exam what are the key points you would like him to present and how do you assess and if you are doing this online viva interaction with him right how will you make it more engaging to the audience your thoughts sir see when you evaluate somebody presenting a clinical case you keep assessing how analytic that person is so the moment you start asking complaints there is an ocean of causes so right from complaints you rule out a number of things and start focusing on a smaller number of causes then as you take the history of present illness you are further narrowing the causes from that ocean and then at the end of history you would have analyzed most of the possible causes you would not have left any loose end you would have sorted out any doubtful issues in the history so that by the end of history you would have come to a very narrow range of a differential diagnosis the difference between a good postgraduate and an average postgraduate comes in the history so history taking is very important it is like the job of a detective detective doesn't lose leave any loose ends even from the smallest clue he wants to explore everything similarly when you take history you are actually exploring so so in the history of present illness you do the cross questioning so that you try you, you find out what is leading to what diagnosis and then you are keeping this in mind you carry it forward so that you bring this knowledge of history and apply it towards your physical examination so that you know from history where you want to focus more and then if you find something unusual then you can even go back to history so that's called going back so you right. go back also to history and ask about that for example you find some lesion on the skin then you can go back to the history it may be a white spot but it may simply be a injury which has become sort of long duration and so it's leading to a mark so you don't leave anything like that you try to find out the causes try to analyze keep analyzing and by the time you do at the end of physical examination by now you are very clear which system you are going to focus on and then you do the systemic examination focusing and building upon your knowledge gained from history and physical examination and do a systemic examination knowing where you want to focus more and then after that you are quite clear as to what the cause is what the condition is and then with the relevant theoretical knowledge you are able to build a complete diagnosis and then a management plan and a list of investigations so basically when a person is presenting a case the examiner is seeing how analytical that person is how thorough that person is is he leaving something loose like undecided or not sorted out so these are the important issues then of course how thorough is the examination in examination particularly uh, the students are asked to demonstrate certain signs 
so that once you are told to demonstrate a sign then talking doesn't help the verb is demonstrate so you have to show it so keep these things in mind and you will be able to do a very good presentation wonderful sir it's like uh, you know since i i am glued to ramayan and mahabharat it's like lakshman ji murchit hain sanjeevni booty chahiye par hanuman ji pura pahad le aaye because description of sanjeevni booty is not known to the person very true so that's what you need to find you need to identify and such an important thing you know it's just not about knowledge it's about structured clinical examination history taking and the approach of a student that's an examiner looks at many people just think that i have got the diagnosis i will pass it won't it's like example if you are doing an mrcs exam and you are asked to uh, do a particular test on a patient the examiner is quietly watching you and the steps are different the first step is you come in and you greet the patient the next step is you clean your hands the next is you take the permission for the examination and the fourth step is the particular test if you hurry up and you know the test you will still score just 25% marks because the first three steps you missed out as a clinician similarly if you are doing history taking an examination the positive history the negative history the personal history the social history everything plays important points and your examiner is just ticking one two three four and if you are structured as sir said from the ocean you will be able to extract out or narrow down things and if you are not right in spite of knowing that final diagnosis you might not do so well so beautifully put this is what you will be learning in conceptual pediatrics while teachers like sir and i will just leave you with one more teacher a very senior teacher you will hear his voice and see this clinical examination and you will understand how we will take up conceptual pediatrics to your rooms at your home and be a level playing area so that one entrance exam one rank does not deny you from the best knowledge in the world thank you very much this child came to us with a history of nodular swellings for about 3 to 4 days ye dekhiye ye ye thoda sa neela pad raha hai ye dekhiye ye sujan aa rahi hai ye dekh rahe ho uske baad mein aapko yahan dekhiye idhar dekhiye ye dekhiye yahan pe hai theek hai aur kahan pe hai ji ha yahan pe bhi hai dekhiye ye dekhiye upar dekha ye do teen jagah pe aapko mila aage bhi hai ji ye bahut acha hai ye dekhiye ye dekho ye do dekhe ca aur ye ये नीला भी पड़ रहा है थोड़ा रंग भी आएगा तो तो दिस इज व्हाट यू आर सीइंग एज पर द मदर वर्जन यू नो हिस्ट्री दैट दिस चाइल्ड हैड रिसीव्ड विटामिन के एट बर्थ